Whenever I'm asked about my favorite film, Old Boy is the one I've usually picked. After watching it again for this video, after a fair number of years, it's still up there. But I hesitate to say it's my favorite. I do believe it is truly one of the great films, though, much like Eraserhead or even Akira, I love the aesthetic of the whole production. Still, when I think of a movie that I could watch any time, it might be more likely to be something like Robocop or even John Carpenter's The Thing, which both will probably make an appearance on here eventually. Still, Old Boy remains my consistent default choice. Now that I got that rant out of the way, maybe I should talk about why I think Old Boy is so great. I think the concept of revenge is a rather engrossing one in a narrative. People really seem to like to indulge in this fantasy, maybe due to the sense of freedom to fight against injustice, and I suppose I'm no exception. Even though I don't think of myself as a vengeful person in the same sense as the Count of Monte Cristo or the Bride from Kill Bill, these stories really suck me in if done well. Maybe it's the amount of character intrigue that's often involved, of what we learn about people when they feel they've lost everything and are unrestrained, giving into their hatred and motivating themselves into a destructive action. If this is the case, how many vengeful characters could really compete with Odaisu? What separates him from most seekers of revenge in these films is that he is a normal man, and he is self-made in his moments of pure badassery. His desire for revenge is the sole motivating factor which keeps him alive and somewhat sane when trapped in a prison for over a decade, his wife murdered, and a daughter left to live with that memory of her parents. This was all done by some mysterious man, one of the best villains I've ever watched, as punishment for some wrong Odaiso did to him many years ago, supposedly. What wrong? Odaisu doesn't know. Upon release, he is given a short window of time to find out why. The villain knows that Odaisu won't even kill him without knowing the reason to make some sense of it, for the inability to make sense of it would haunt him for the rest of his life if he did so. Old Boy might have one of the best movie openings ever. <laughs> yeah, get it. ハコシタコ。ハッタ。ほら。マッチ。ドクヤ。シワ。で。いらん。How can you not be a little curious about these two men and their stories? I was pulled in right away the first time I watched it. And I was when I watched it again for this video. I also really enjoy the narration throughout. The film isn't really noir, but it pulls off the voiceover pretty well, with each line giving just enough to suggest insights of Odaisu's mind, but still enough to leave you thinking. There are also just so many great uses of editing and cinematography. It's both artful and gritty. You've got the opening scene and the eating of the live squid. Yes, a live squid. Is that acting at that point? It certainly still shows real commitment. I don't know many actors that would do that, at least for Merlin's Beer Productions. Maybe I'll have to up my rates. Then there is the iconic corridor scene. With no real martial arts, just one man's willpower and rage against a bunch of thugs who have no idea who has been unleashed. <laughs> Another decent movie, actually. The movie is truly about revenge, in that it shows all facets of it. Revenge seems justified and even cool. We want Odaisu to succeed, but we see how revenge has really consumed him and takes most, if not all, of his humanity. For if he accomplishes his revenge, what could drive a man after that? What life could he really live? Revenge destroys everything, even those committing it. It won't solve anything, ultimately. It turns out that the villain of the film is also driven by revenge, though in this case, it's certainly misplaced. He blames Odaisu for his pain, though he is actually the one more responsible. We want to say that he's a monster and Odaisu has simply been wronged, but both men are capable of great evil. They are also still human and cling on to the best aspects of their humanity for as long as they can. 
As far as the ending of the film goes, which I think might be the most difficult part in combination with the twist for a lot of people, and for myself, shows that sometimes there are no easy answers. Calling it bittersweet doesn't really do it justice. How should we feel about Odysseus at the end of the film? What would you do in such a situation? How could you go on? Something to consider. Thank you.